mainly because of the fact that inside air land battle oh man the battles just uh, they, they would just grind on for so so long um, due to how they were set up and now the system is nice and uh, well, I'd say decently fast flowing um, over here what should I do hmm there's a whole bunch of junk zones we can deploy in all of them but I don't want to I think I'll deploy in Geo Chang seeing as over here that'll give us land and ground forces yeah, I'm really liking this strategical element too of where do you want to deploy your command vehicles because you only have a limited amount of them. Um, I think I'll go with Geo Chang and Busan because that'll give us two air pathways and two really nice land pathways. And furthermore, I think I'll just put some troops in Delta and I think that'll be the best optimal um, battle strategy because that'll give us a nice land reinforcement zone from here but i don't think we'll be able to use the air reinforcement zone from here just due to the fact that it's it's a little risky calling in the planes because they have to circle all the way around and this will be our air pathway which will be really rather handy so um let's go with that I'm, i usually buy the planes first so i'll buy two of these f4 uh, es things to try out um the enemy doesn't have any planes so we don't have to buy any of those support vehicles and i'll set up my little um infantrymen inside the village um, seeing as how last time we required a lot more of these guys, so I think I'll get two AA teams in the back, just because they, they've been known to send a few planes. And I'll deploy some of these Suchong guys with the, um, with the machine guns in the front. And I really like these RCL troopers because they have a really long range um, anti-tank weapon, so I'll deploy them inside the back here, and we'll sprinkle all our troops out here like that. Um, you guys may have noticed that we have a limited amount of each and every type of troop. I think they carry over just like an air land battle and there's no way to get any more. So um, I want to be a little bit careful about that. Do I have any more? Yes I do. I have some tow missiles. So I have some of these tow missile troops and I suppose I'll just pluck them down. Um, oh that's actually outside the deployment zone but I'll pluck down one to cover this bridgehead right here. And inside this area, what I can do here is that I'm going to put down a little bit of tow missiles so that we can hit whatever is coming our way from there. And in this side, this deck, we have some um, some armor, some looks like South Korean armor, but I suppose they're just really the American tanks. Um, we have some cheap 20 vari point variants. They, they don't really have that much ar um, armor in particular, though. I think I'll buy a few of these 20 point tanks because all we really need to do is just have a mass of them. And I mean this is a multiplayer map so I kind of know the terrain a uh, quite well here. And I'll just get our guys set up so that we'll have some more infantry over here. We'll have a single supply vehicle. Let's give supply vehicles to all of our troops just to um, make sure that we don't run out of ammunition like last time. And we'll get those tanks set up. And furthermore I'll get a few more... Um, Over here, hmm. I think I'll get some more infantry to defend this area actually. And I'll have some of these guys, the M36s, because they're 10 point tanks. Oh, I think these might actually be Sherman tanks. Yeah, they look like, Sher like some sort of really odd Sherman tank with a really big cannon. So that's kind of weird, but alright. So yeah, we'll get our troops deployed here. And come to think of it, I probably should have bought some recon troops, but it doesn't look like I do have any, so I mean, oh well. Um, in that case, I'll buy a single squad of infantry over there just so that we have some eyes. And we'll get our guys set up on this defensive line. And assuming that the enemy attacks, which it should because it's uh, it's their attacking mission, then we'll just sort of hold on to these locations. And if they don't attack, then we will just sort of pull back and see what they really do. And evidently we can see some of their troops. They have some of these VTT carriers which are really nice because they can hit airplanes. Um, at least in the multiplayer they were really well. Some T-35s over here and some other good stuff. And perfect, they're starting to trade across the bridge with some of those APCs and those are just going to get demolished by my tanks and um, ooh, the tow missile launcher should probably stop firing right now because they're, they, they only carry four missiles each. But the tanks are just going to wreck whatever comes off that bridge. Now, they have a nice little blob of troops here. And, you know, I really want to get in that. And I want to just wreck all of that. But that's going to be very, very difficult to do. 
Um, I think I'll buy some more of these F4Es, and I want to see whether or not we can unleash the pain with these air missiles on them. Yeah, they don't seem to be very accurate, and come to think of it, they don't have AA defenses over here, so I can just call down my planes and instantaneously unleash hell onto this convoy. That was really effective, actually. We managed to... We managed to get a good amount of tanks there. I'm a little worried because these T-55s are... I would say they have decent front armor for what they're worth. And with that said, I mean, all we have is infantry over here. And, oh, um, actually, they, they're going somewhere else. But I was a little worried there because those tanks, I, I thought they would have been a little bit more stronger. Um, all we really had to do is just hold for those three days. So it's not that bad. Now, let's see. I can buy another plane, so this will be... Another little run. Yeah, and I recall they only had select units doing um, a AA defense. They only had like ground missile teams. So if we can pick those off, then we should be fine to just use our air superiority. Yes, the crossing the bridge with the ABCs. Oddly enough, those um, little law and AA weapons, they seem to fire really, really slowly for whatever reason. Yeah, the projectiles take like forever to reach targets. It's kind of weird too. Just overwhelming this guy with uh, bullets. There we go. Now oh, he's dead. Ooh. Um, no, they're starting to use the bridge over here. I thought they were making like a little amphibi- Oh no, they're targeting my command armor. Ooh, that's gonna be bad. Yeah, because that's the, that's the vehicle who's currently capping the zone and I don't want that one to die. Um, I'll get my Air Force back in the game here. Hopefully they can take care of these little VTTs over there. And I'll get some more to just massacre the T-55s coming down this road. Oh, we lost an air corridor somehow. Oh, I didn't deploy these guys. Maybe that's why. Whoopsies. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like we are doing A-OK -okay inside this battle. You know, come to think of it, I, I just remember that I did indeed say that they don't have any air units, so why did I even buy these Stinger teams? Oh well, at least I only bought two of them. Uh, let's see, oh yes, these are the MC, like these guys um, with the really long recoilless rifles, they actually have HE power too. So these guys are actually also able to hit infantry too. I was wondering for a second why they were able to hit that uh, infantry squad there. But that, that's kind of neat because um, that'll make them even more useful. My supply trucks here is already out of ammunition. They are just sending blobs upon blobs of units here. Actually, it looks like the game is uh, almost fairly close to over being over. So with one more barrage of planes, I think this will um, this will be it for for these guys, assuming that they hit all of their targets, of course. Look at that! They just cannot get over that bridge. So um, yeah, that is another battle over. It lasted five minutes or so, so it's a fairly quick battle. Looks like we killed a whole bunch of their troops and we only lost 25 points worth of good stuff. So that is um, that is really rather interesting and that'll end that battle and push away all of their units and lower their cohesion and morale once again. So um, going from here, I think I'll pause the video right now. I'll come back because I need to uh, get those other video. I'll, I'll need to get the first part of the Let's Play uploaded. Um, so I'll be right back.